Importing and Exporting Contacts. In this video, I will show you how to import and export contacts in and out of your Sales Managro account. The first thing we have to do is navigate ourselves into the CRM panel on the left sidebar and then proceed onto the Import Contacts menu. You can also reach it by going to Contact List and into the Import Contacts tab. We then proceed to click on Import New Contacts to start the importing process. In here, we will be able to import contacts through an Excel file. First thing we'll do is we'll give this import a specific name. We then proceed to click on Click to Upload to select the file from our hard drive. Keep in mind that formatting help can be found at our webpage support.salesmanago.com. Now that we have our file, let's proceed onwards to the next stage. The first stage is the basic data import. On the left hand side, we can see all the columns inside our Excel file. However, some of these values won't necessarily match this category. On the basic data stage, we can only import certain kinds of data. For example, the most important, email. We import these values by dragging and dropping them to the right hand side. We can see here that our values did not match. We do not want to map the phone number as the name of the contact. Manually change what our value will be mapped as. At this point, we run into a little roadblock. While we do have email, phone, name, and birthday fields considered in the drop-down list for basic data, don't worry, as those details will be added in the next stage. Let's proceed to the next step. This warning lets us know that not all fields were mapped on this stage. However, we are aware of that and we will proceed to do so in the next stage. So we click continue. In this stage, we will be able to map custom details into the contact card. In this example, shoe size will be one of the custom details. We drag and drop it as we would with other details. Here, however, we are prompted with our own selection of name of what we want to call the detail. The tags and opt-in values will be mapped in the latter stages. This stage is for custom details only. So we proceed onwards to the next step. Base segmentation. In this stage of the import, we'll be able to add tags or segmentation to our contacts. The top options available to us is to import a specific tag or tags into every single contact in our import. It is generally recommended to add a tag that marks them that they were part of this import. On the right hand side, we have the option to add tags only to the contacts that are imported into the system for the very first time meaning that they are not currently in the system.
Now we will be able to proceed and add our segmentation. Here we have a pop-up window asking us to specify what kind of separator we've used in the event that one cell has more than one tag in it. Typically, we recommend using commas for separators. However, if you have other separator characters, you can also choose this option here. Let's proceed to the next stage. In here, we have some more advanced options. We can change the contact status of every single contact in our file, or specify that only new contacts should receive a state change. This is good for updating the database. The following options of marking important contacts as invalid, restoring important contacts, or changing the opt-in and opt-out state will also allow us to update the database through the import. The send detail report to the account's address and add in CC is an option to send an email with the full report of the import. As you may have noticed, one of the fields we had in our file was the opt-in and opt-out status, which was indicated by a 1 or a 0. We can specify whether we are changing the newsletter status or the phone status. In this case, we only want to change the subscription or the emails. Once we are completed with all the changes, we can then proceed to import the contacts. Up next, let's learn how to export these contacts out of the CRM. To go back to the start, we would again have to proceed to the CRM panel, onwards to the contact list pane, and into the export contacts section. From this panel here, we will be able to go to the Export Contacts menu. The first stage of exporting is to specify which contacts we want to export. In here, we can specify the file name of the export file. And then specify the contact list, whether through a tag, which funnel they are a part of, which mailings they have or have not received, or predefined addresses. We can also use custom filtering for additional options. For example, let's try to export a list of contacts that have received one of our emails. We can then exclude certain contacts based on specified criteria. Let's say we want only the contacts that have received our email but have not yet opened it. We would therefore have to exclude the contacts that have the opened status. We can now proceed on to the next stage of the export. We can specify whether we only want the email addresses, the full subscriber data, or the entire data range that we have available in our CRM. We can also opt in to export the tags or add our own details to each contact. On the last stage, we can select which folder in the content repository the file will appear in. We can also block off access so that other users will not be able to see or download the file. To learn more, you can visit our webpage at support.salesmanago.com.